Hello dear students, greetings to all. In the previous class we have uh, seen notice and today we are going to deal with uh, email. Dear students, for the council uh, ICC board examination, both these questions are coming together. Uh, and we are t and these questions are interlinked also that means when we write the email we are taking the details from the notice which we have written that means we have uh, written a creative title we have written the date time place and all these informations are used in the mail also we have to write all these informations in the mail also so let us begin with the mark division when we look at the mark division half mark is given to the two two others first of all we have to write an email id and it should be a perfect email id the main mistake that the children make here is that they begin the mail email id with www dot that is not an email id that is a website id so when you write the email id you have to write it very clearly the most the important things that you have to keep in mind is that first of all all the letters must be individual letters you have to write don't write cursive writing secondly all the letters must be in small letter all the letters must be in small letters and at the end it must be at the gmail.com or at the gmail.org or something like that it must be there or uh, at yahoo.com anything it can be so you must write clearly uh, the email id it must be small letter and it must be individual letters don't write to case writing and at the end there must be at the right gmail.com or at the right yahoo.com or at the right rocket.rocketmail.com uh, rocket or anything it can be the easiest one can be at the right gmail.com the next thing about the email id is that when you write the email id the email will be always a formal one so you must mention the designation suppose write an email to a principal then you have to write principal at centenary school at the rate gmail.com principal centenary school at the rate gmail.com that can be a plausible email id don't write your email id you must write the email id uh, of the person to whom we are writing mostly it will be a formal letter so you have to write the uh, designation for example if you're writing an uh, email to a uh, to the manager of a supermarket then you must write manager reliance supermarket at the rate gmail.com and there shall not be any space between manager reliance supermarket uh, between the words it must be together there is no gap between the email id second thing is the subject we must be uh, it must be very brief and it must be appropriate to the given topic based on the question we must write a very brief subject don't write a long uh, sentence it must be very brief and short and the next one is the salutation when you write the salutation the salutation must be the same as we have studied for the formal letter it can be dear sir or dear madam don't write dear ma'am that uh, don't write the short form of a madam it can be dear sir dear madam as it is a formal letter the best thing is either to write dear sir or to write dear madam or even if you do not know the person then you can write either dear sir slash madam that's also possible that is also acceptable then you have to put a comma and the next thing is the opening sentence and for this salutation you will have a half mark for the subject also half mark and for the two others also half mark next one is the opening sentence when you write the email the opening sentence must be in a separate paragraph or a separate uh, line and what we write here is that you can write the program what are you going to conduct which program are you going to conduct for example centenary centenary school is going to organize a fate uh, for the victims of uh, uh, flood something like that you can very briefly write the uh, introduction no need to write that uh, i am such and such person coming from this and this those kind of things are not at all needed directly we can start writing the topic first of all you write what program is going to organize or as part of the as a annual function centenary school is going to organize a fate or something like that you can uh, write the opening sentence and the next one is the body of the letter and for the body of the letter or body of email you will have a two marks and these two marks is divided into 
different points and these points we are writing from the notice we have mentioned the date we have mentioned the smaller location and bigger location we have mentioned the participations and we have mentioned uh, we have written a creative writing so dear students when you write the body of email you have to mention the creative title that we have written first of all secondly you have to write the event and next we have to write the date and the next we have to write the smaller location and bigger location and that paragraph will be completed with that so once again we have to write the uh, title of the notice which we have written and next one is uh, we have to uh, uh, we next one we have to write the event and then we have to write the date and then we have to write the uh, time and these things can be mentioned as a sentence and in a paragraph that is the next paragraph and the final paragraph is the closing sentence closing sentence should be written in a separate paragraph or separate line it can be we look forward for a favorable uh, response or we request you to send a team of three teachers from your school to judge the talent search everybody's got talent anticipating a positive response yours faithfully something like that continuation of the uh, email and another example for closing sentence is uh, uh, we look forward to seeing you at uh, berkeley high school so it can be many uh, there are many examples that you can find from the uh, Engl your total english uh, textbook you will get many examples from there and after the closing sentence you have to you have to write the subscription subscriptions uh, should be the same as we have studied for the formal letter thanking you comma the thanking you t must be capital you must be small letter comma you words faithfully you words faithfully y must be capital letter make sure that the tail of y shall not go to the down line uh, the um, below the line it should be it should be above the line so you words faithfully f must be small letter then after faithfully comma then the full name don't write a single name you have to write the full name your name a first name and the initial the second name and for the closing sentence you will have half mark and for the subscription subscription half mark so all together you will get five marks so dear students the five marks of email also can be easily acquired and you can easily get the, all these five uh, five marks so once again i will brief the mark division for the two words you will have half mark for the subject half mark sal salutation half mark opening sentence half mark body two marks closing sentence half mark and subscription half mark so dear students practice it very well and you can score it easily